Hurricane relief supplies are beginning to arrive in cities across the southeast, but many smaller communities are still waiting for assistance. As our neighbors work to rebuild their lives in the wake of Hurricane Helene, here in the Tennessee Valley, many are answering that call for help. News night. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kayla Smith joining us now with more on how some are rallying. This is a great story you found here, Kayla. Oh, well, thank you. The wonderful people I met today. Atkinson County, Georgia is one of those rural areas hit hard by the storm. It's home to just over 8,000 people, most living without access to running water or electricity right now, and food is running scarce. The Koviak family living in Trinity, Alabama, has family living in that community, and they tell me they're finding a way to help. James Koviak works for Ruan Transportation, and the company has agreed to let him fill this 18-wheeler with supplies and take it to Atkinson County. The family put the message out in their community and the response has been overwhelming. Thousands of dollars in donations and trunk loads of supplies have rolled in. The family will take that money and purchase more necessities before loading up the truck. Rachel Koviak is coordinating with the Atkinson County Sheriff's Office, making sure the, the supplies make it to those who need them. My hope is that we can just give a little bit of relief to people down there in that community. It's a very small community. It's the whole county is small. They live in rural areas that are hard to access. They're overwhelmed. They're exhausted. They're, they haven't slept. They're just trying to come together as a community and we want to bring as much to them as we can. The Koviak family will be loading up supplies until 8 Thursday morning. Some of the most needed supplies include non-perishable foods, individually packaged foods, bottled water, and charcoal. If you'd like more information about how you can help, we'll have that information for you on whnt.com.